Welcome to another daily recap for Tuesday, November 28, 2023. You're looking at a one minute chart of the spiders and the five horizontal lines show the levels that were calculated before the market opened this morning. And these levels are used to activate trades in the E-mini futures. Today was interesting. So unfortunately, when the time was right for the E-minis to be on standby to open trades, the spiders were below this 453.69 level. It would have, been, would have been better if the spiders were above this with all this back and forth in the first 15 minutes of the trading day and at the close of the 945 candle. It would have been a long position triggered and this would have started the day with a quick base hit. But if you treat this as a process and stick to the rules of the strategy, the system entered a short trade right here when the spiders came up into uh, this level at 453.69 in the 946 candle, 946 AM. So the trade was short, but soon out of the money as the spiders continued higher. And as the spiders hit each of these levels, a new short trade was triggered in the E-minis, adding to a total position. And the reason nothing was closed out as they continued to get more and more out of the money is because not enough time transpired after each of these trades to generate a signal that any of the trades would have been a fumble. If that had happened before the spiders entered the zone at the next level up, for example, a reversal would have been activated and that would have worked out better. But as you can see, if you've been following this channel and watching these daily recap videos, usually there is sufficient resistance at these levels to get a base hit, or at least some consolidation, which strengthens the case for reversal if the signal materializes at the right time. But in this case, the spiders just like completely ignored this 454, 65 level, for example, and powered right on through. So four separate short trades were triggered all before a profit target was hit for any of these levels. And the average entry price of all four of these trades was around 454, 44. And despite pulling this profit target up with each of these short trades as the position was averaged in, no pullback occurred that was strong enough to provide a base hit off of this entry price, this average entry price. But per the rules of the strategy, there was still not a fumble at any of these levels individually, as I've mentioned, but there was with this super position and it was out of the money and the fumble happened at about seven and a half points. So there's a seven and a half point loss when the reversal happened and another a base hit was was uh, pulled out of the market with a reversal, but not enough to wash out the loss of the seven and a half points on the fumble. And then as spiders continued higher at 455.89, they realized, or they were able to pull another base hit out of the market. And so two base hits, but quite a bit of a fumble here when you combine all these, all these uh, trades points, all the ES contracts together as it was going up. So let's take a look at the tracking log to see how all this back and forth translated into money. So here are the four levels which when averaged in together produced one fumble of seven and a half points and a base hit on the reversal and the 455.89 level was a straightforward base hit to round out the trading date. So what did the end of the day look like if you were trading say two ES contracts at each level? So in this case you would have had eight contracts out of the money. Not to say this would have been very easy if you were trading multiple contracts but you would have been you would have given about $1,400 back to the market today. Not a good day but don't forget the law of averages. Um, over time, there are many more profitable days using the strategy. And you may have noticed I've added another metric up here to track the average daily profit, and average daily loss. And consider these numbers in light of the overall profit and loss percentages, more green days than red days. In fact, if I just looked at the last, say, 20 something days of, of trading two contracts, you can't see the bottom of the screen, but the average uh, is $616. This is the last 26 days. And if you look at that, that's still somewhat you know, less than the overall average over time. So, and, and by the way, the highlighted sales here of the last 26 days is a little bit over $16,000 profit. So again, the law of averages is, is important. You, uh, you need to let this play out, treating this as a strategy and you know, like the process that it is over time, you'll see our account grow. Well, I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.